More than half the dogs in the United States are mixed breeds, otherwise known as mutts. From the Humane Society to rescue organizations, most Americans choose dogs that are not purebred. Take little Z, for instance. As far as I can tell, she's a train walker coon hound. But you don't really know, huh? No, I don't. Well, most of us just guess. That's what we did with our own dogs. Until Susan Elizabeth Littlefield decided to order a doggy DNA test. As you will see, the result surprised us, to say the least. There's so many dogs in the world. We just kind of figured, you know, why not uh, find some that need homes? Like most families, the Vasileros chose adoption. First, they chose Lola five years ago. She was rescued from Red Lake Reservation. Then a year later, they chose Louie. He came from a farm. Louie's beside Amelia. That's Lola by Frank. She's, she's gentle, even in the way, like when you give her food, she's gentle. This one's a little skitzy. He's kind of, <laughs> but he's very loving too. I mean, they're both very loving. Lola is calm and affectionate. Louie barks loudly and can get a bit snippy. Most people look at him and think black lab and they think siblings. They're not siblings, but are they labs? Hi. Hello. We took them to an expert at All Pauls in St. Louis Park. But Dr. Lisa oh, Linda Smith didn't just isn't, guess. Yep. She know, says eyeballing yep, isn't very accurate. Lab. It only works about 20 to 30 percent of the time. When your clients come to you, do they usually think, I know what my dog is? Mm -hmm. Sure. Or they want us to know. And and it's, it can be very hard to guess. Once those genes get mixed up, they can look like all sorts of things, and yeah. it can be hard to guess. So she offers DNA testing for $150 per pup. She says the blood draw is most accurate, but there are also take-home versions that use a mouse swap that you can buy online. Yeah, I kept good I kept very brave. Louis was the perfect patient. Oh, Look how brave you are. So was Lola. They did really great. So good. They were very brave. Good so boy. good. It'll be interesting, really, to see if they both do have any or a lot of black lab. A few weeks later, the answers were clear. This is a big day at the Vasilero home. Huh? We're gonna find out what you are. Lola is mainly German Shepherd. No way. German Shepherd, that makes sense. It does? She well, look looks like a lab. No, but look at her head. She, German Shepherds look like this. The results look at her parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents. She's mostly German Shepherd, then Border Collie, then Lab, then Siberian Husky. Her mother and grandmother had no Lab at all. They, Our kids is, are going to freak out. They are. Now, time for Louie's big reveal. Dying to know. Now, this is very interesting. Louie is mainly Golden Retriever. Really? No way. And then Border Collie. Well, look at his tail, though. I mean, like, look at Louie's tail. It's a retriever tail. You're what? a black golden retriever. <laughs> Louie's also got a large amount of Border Collie. Then Lab, and then... Get this. He has U.S. show dog Chow Chow. That's where the problem is. <laughs> Amelia's right. <laughs> it's the chow. It's the chow. They are notorious for being a little bit snippy and, you know, pretty loyal to their family, but um, wary of strangers. But the tests also yielded more serious results. They tested for gene mutations. Louis came out perfect. Lola had a gene for being prone to collapsing during exercise, but the gene was recessive, so she is in the clear. That is pretty cool. Yeah, this is really thorough. That's gratifying knowing what they actually are, but I like the genetic makeup to see if there were any health issues, something that we could keep an eye on. It's great to know, but it's kind of weird, too, because 10 minutes ago, <laughs> I thought I had a couple black labs. <laughs> Even though things may seem different now. I found out I have a German Shepherd and a Golden, Golden Retriever. Retriever. They're really just the same. Susan Elizabeth yeah. Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. It's so, really crazy. It's fascinating. Though, it really isn't is. It? Yeah. yeah. No idea. What have so, you ever thought? Susan did that big reveal, but we didn't talk to the vet. So then the biggest question we still had is why are both of those dogs black and why do they look like labs? Yeah. And Dr. Lisa said that if dogs have even a small amount of a certain breed, that breed can determine their traits. Yeah. So. Which is like the chow with our dog. There Louis. you go. We haven't oh. told them yet, Chris. We're easing them into it. You have to. They, they think they're labs. Uh, Isn't Lola, that interesting, Lola though? looks a lot like a canine officer's dog. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot. Well, you know, she's big. so big. She's big. Yeah, and that's why I explained some of it. But yeah, that's fascinating, though. It was... I never would have known that. Yeah. No. I've Honestly, I've told everybody you have two black labs. Yeah, Forever. that's what they look like. Yeah. Okay.
Fun test. One tall one and one kind of thick. Yeah, so who knows? But who knows? Anyway. Cool story.